Welcome back, and we'll be doing problem 1217. Uh, we just finished 1216, and this problem is very similar, except they add the acceleration component now. So we're dealing with 2D kinematics. Uh, we're given the we're given the x the position function, the x direction, so, which is 4 t to the fourth, and we're given y squared equals 4x so basically we're given our our y equation y squared 4x okay which can also be written as um, let's see we'll substitute the x equation in here so it's 16 t to the fourth right and then you know square both sides do that to it, 16t to the fourth, and we'll get our y position, which is 4t squared. Okay, so now we have x and y, and now let's calculate their velocities. So take one time derivative for the x, so that's 16t cubed, do the same thing for the y, one time derivative that gives you 8t alright and then do one more derivative to get the acceleration in the x so that's um, 48t squared and then here we get a constant That just froze. Okay, so a y is just eight. All right, and I know I don't put the units, but you know meters per second squared for acceleration, meters per second, and then meters. All right, don't forget your units. Your professors might slice off like ten points for that. Um, all right, so here is determine the magnitude of the particle's velocity and acceleration when t equals 0.5 seconds. So we're basically trying to calculate Vx, Vx at 0 0.5 seconds and Ax at 0 0.5 seconds, okay? So Vx at 0 0.5 seconds gives you 2 meters per second. Ax at the acceleration in the x direction at time equals 0.5 seconds will result in an acceleration of 12 meters per second squared and let's do the same thing for the y for the y we end up getting 4 meters per second right and for those who are joining remember this is you just plug in the 0.5 into this equation and into this equation wherever you see a t okay and then a y we'll get 8 meters per second squared because it's just constant All right. and now that we've done the bulk of the work here right, we're just going to take the magnitude of Vx, oh, sorry, of the velocity and the acceleration so remember that's just going to be my Vx component squared plus my y component squared right and those are already all evaluated at 0.5 seconds and we get 4 plus 16 so that's not a nice number but we get 4.47 meters per second and the same thing for acceleration we do 12 squared plus 8 squared Right? and then we end up getting 14.4 meters per second squared okay and yeah that's that's basically it um, we've found the magnitude of velocity and acceleration at time equals 0.5 seconds all right hopefully this video helped you guys out um, in terms of structuring your problem and also identifying what you're going to need for the problem um, I hope 
um, yeah, hope it helps you out. If you have comments, questions, concerns, just let me down. Let me know down below, and I appreciate your feedback. Thanks, guys.